Jeff here at Mr. Hardwater. We just went through the setup and operation of the pressure washer. Uh, we ran, uh, we bled uh, the water out of the hose line. We hooked up the water to it. We turned on the motor and got it started. Everything's running well. And what we realized that when the regulator is fully on, um, the 4200 PSI, 4.0 gallon per minute Simpson, puts out an effective pressure of about 3700 PSI. And you could really see that coming out of the fan tip we have here. So the next step here is to just test to see what kind of uh, vacuum suction is created within this blast head when you're operating at let's say uh, 4200 PSI or the effective 3700 PSI coming out of here. So why don't we turn on the machine once again, pull the trigger, and we can take a look at both our gauges, the inline pressure gauge, and we can take a look at our vacuum gauge here and we can see how much vacuum we're getting because remember the vacuum is important because that's what's going to enable us to draw the media from a hopper or from a bucket through 20 to 50 feet of hose and mix into this head. So let's turn this motor on and then what we're going to do is we're going to spin the motor around and we're going to uh, downward adjust our uh, regulator and we can see that adjustment downwards in our effective PC, uh, PSI. So we'll go from 3,700 to 35 to 3,000, 2,500. And as we do that, you'll see a corresponding uh, change in the, in the vacuum pressure of our blast head. So let's give it a shot. First of all, we're going to turn the switch on. Um, we don't need to turn on the choke now because the motor's warmed up. We're going to put this in the middle and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the trigger to release some of the pressure. At the same time, I'm going to pull this to start the motor.
suction pressure um, out of this uh, head when you're running at uh, the maximum amount. And even as you uh, turn that regular down and your effective PSI is dropping down to uh, 3,500, 3,000, even lower, you still get suction because you can see that uh, this liquid filled gauge here is going backwards. That means there's suction in there. And uh, that's basically the operation of these systems. And uh, in subsequent videos, we'll talk a little bit more about the heads, how to maintain them, how to set them up. We're going to compare the differences between the two different types of heads, the 15 and the, uh, the zero. And then we're going to talk more about just the, uh, the media flow itself, which is really important because you got to get media going and mixing in with that water in, a, in order for you to do any kind of effective uh, cleaning or restoration or maintenance. Yeah.